I'm only going to send one to Ellen because I don't want to spend uh, 15 bucks. Friendly. No, oh, make it make it romantic. Do you want me to? Yes. All right. If yeah. uh, Ellen wigs out on me, though, I'm uh, totally reloading. Fair enough. Because <laughs> don't want to chase her away, man. I know. Okay, I'll write that down. Besides, you're not the one reading the wiki. Uh, are you inadvertently steering me into things now? No! You're like, it's okay, Jordan. No. Just let it happen. We all know it's what we wanted. That's good. All right. Yeah. Actually, while you skip that, I need to And... Oh. Ah, damn it. Oh, no. Sorry. Nope, nope. No, I it skipped some stuff. Okay. Well, pause, I'll, pause I'll, the video here because I need to do something really that, quick. That's fine. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, I wanted to mention this because I thought about it while we took that break. When we uh, when you were like, pick a romantic one to send to Ellen, right? What I did, all my character did was like, I'll write that down. <laughs> you see what <laughs> I mean? It's like, romantic one? Got it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, there's no risk involved. This couldn't end badly. <laughs> Ellen wants me. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know. It's just the, just just the way... The fact that I didn't have additional dialogue, like, oh my, should I... You know, like, and any inner turmoil, any, like, inner turmoil, uh, turmoil, it's like, it's all in your head, not in the character there, because it's like, oh, should I give people romantic cards, funny cards? You know, but in the game, it's like, yeah, I'll put an order for that, an order for that. Yep, that's all my valentines. Awesome. You know? <laughs> all right, whatever. Return! On Friday morning, the valentines are delivered. Ellen sent me a card and a box of candy hearts with silly valentine sayings on them. Ellen picks up the valentine I sent her and immediately blushes, then looks away. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Oh. She didn't react badly to it. She was just like, oh my. <laughs> ground spell interrupts targets casting to redirect their spell to the ground. Ref Ooh, it's a defensive spell. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly the timing on that. It's probably you. Ready? I'm guessing it's Ellen anyway. Can we talk? What's up? This, this Valentine's you sent me. Do you know what it says? Not exactly. I mean, I didn't get to pick the exact words. Maybe you should read it. She hands me a card. To my dear one. In dreams and in love, nothing is impossible. Yours, Rain. That doesn't sound so bad. Yeah. Whoa. But apparently it's a big shocker here. <laughs> Did you mean it? <laughs> Panic. <laughs> Should we save and see what they all do? <laughs> yes. Because I kind of want to panic. Because <laughs> yeah. it seems funny. Uh, what? <laughs> At a complete loss for words, I panic and turn to run out of the room, but I end up banging to the edge of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like in, in that in anime where they'd be like, I, you know, <laughs> like, uh, oh, she thought that was cute. <laughs> Maybe we should just stick with that. Maybe. She reaches up and places her finger against my lower lip. <laughs> You immediately turn that from cute to creepy. <laughs> Look at her eyes, man. But you were like, shh, it's our little secrets. I'll kiss your boo-boo away. It's okay. I like you too. Blush. Really? Really. I mean, I can't imagine why you like me, but I'm not going to argue with it. Fair enough. So what now? Nothing. Nothing now. We live in the same room. There's Virginia. We can't. But if you don't change your mind, ask me again at the end of the year. Ask me at the. Ask me at the May Day Ball. 
That should not I... be a tongue twister. <laughs> Ask me at the Mad Dog Ball. <laughs> 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 Ask me at the Mad Mad God Ball. <laughs> I don't know. I I need to go wash my hands. Right. Uh, then it's like you notice. Uh, you, you hear the sound of I, motion I, I, being I, squirted. No, 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 no. I don't know how I wanted to set this up, but I want to be like, you find Ellen's fanfics. <laughs> um, she <laughs> hurries up. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, like, you saw it peeking out of the corner or something, but it seemed oddly messy for Ellen's state, like, part of the room. You'd be like, what's this about? And then you decide to be nosy, and it's like, oh. <laughs> you know? She's got a thing for, for Rain and Victoria. Uh oh. Like, oh. that little slut. <laughs> no, um. Oh my gosh. Remember her name, too. There's so many demerits. <laughs> she hurries out of the room, and I take a seat on my bed, trying to make my hands stop shaking. That actually was kind of adorable. It's like, uh, uh, bam! <laughs> Ow. That's oh. probably what, what we would have done anyway. <laughs> um. I don't think I would have ran away. I Definitely might have panicked possible. anyway, but I don't think I would have ran into a wall and been like, I gotta go! You know? <laughs> Uh, I, I definitely would have flushed it. I'm not sure about the running part either. But though. you know what I wouldn't have done? I wouldn't have been like, I'll write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I agree. Oh. <laughs> uh. Ellen gets up early on Saturday morning and returns after the mail and allowances are delivered. What should I do today? Study, obviously. Gotta make up that five bucks we spent on uh, romantic valentines. Oh, yes. Money well spent. Mm-hmm. So many knees hurt. There are several students in the library today, but Minnie's nowhere to be seen. Damn it! Oh, well. Damn it, Minnie! Where were you when I needed you? <laughs> Uh-oh. The prank music. Guys, do you still smoke? Bonfire! Okay. I thought, like, Donald, like, left flaming poo outside our door. <laughs> no, then you would have spilled fire and poop. Yeah. What bonfire? For the New Year ceremony tomorrow night, they use the ashes. Ellen and I push up close to the window and try to get a look outside. Ugh, sorry about that. Random, like, heartburn for some reason. It's hard to tell, but I think I can see Minnie and Jacob near the flames. Ah, oh, that's why that's Minnie was gone. Wait, which one's Jacob? The guy with the sports club guy who wanted to use magic. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember if that was the prankster guy or not. Nah. That would be dangerous. I, I suppose we'll find out more tomorrow. Alright. Save game. I liked how that star right before we uh, gave Ellen the valentine was pink. <laughs> so it was like, romance. Oh shit, it's nighttime. With new music. In the evening, we are all summoned from our dorms by figures wearing hoods and masks who lead us outside. Uh oh. We sit on the ground in groups by hall horses with horses, wolves with wolves, and so on. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, man, you can't hear any of this music. Oh. Then the seniors from each hall stand and form a line leading up to the remains of the bonfire where Professor Potsdam is waiting. One at a time, they take a long wooden stick and stir through the remains of the ashes. Are we going to walk on hot coals? <laughs> uh, I, I was just worried it would be grabbing her going up there like, See this pile of ash? This will be you if you fail your final exam. <laughs> and then I'll keep your fingers! Mm, more to my collection. It's like they're all nice and crispy. <laughs> oh. I put them in a, uh, a dehumidifier, so I make them into jerky. I don't even remember how this joke got started now. It's probably not funny, but I'm, we're sticking to <laughs> I it. I remember... <laughs> He was talking about like some something to do with oh, the like, you're careless, you'll lose your fingers. That's and I get to keep them. <laughs> well, we're just beating it to death at this point, but who cares? <laughs> this this horse is off dead. <laughs> yep. But it's so much fun to beat. <laughs> it's like, are you mad, internet? <laughs> Jordan, Jordan, get me the bat. Tim, <laughs> I need to get some more. Tim, Tim, <laughs> nobody's watching it. <laughs> that means we just beat more. <laughs> 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 Alright, whatever. Read your part. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> like, no, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> right. The old year has died. Just like... Oh, never mind. That's not important. The past is gone. And will not come again. Let us leave behind our sorrows in the ash of the past. Radnor, you got a lot of sorrow in this ash. <laughs> As these ashes become soil, so may our hearts become, and the, so may our hearts become the ground of the future. She's got a lot of inspiring speeches. She's like, Grabner's too crotchety. I so agree, like, I, but but I would I would like to see Grabner giving like some kind of inspirational speech, even if it's just to one student. I'm sure his speeches would be more like, uh, don't fail. <laughs> Like, now everybody behave. Or detention! <laughs> you know what I mean? Everyone perform better than they did last year. I'm sure if You're you go through... so many demerits. I'm sure if you go through the school path where, like, you kind of hit on him or whatever, like... I'm sure he gives you uh, Yeah, I'm sure he kind of, like, inspires you a bit. Because I think you probably... Because it, it seems like the path starts with the whole, like, love note thing. And like fessing up, because then that lets you run for treasurer or president or whatever. So I'm guessing that puts you into more contact with the, the staff. Yeah. So it's probably something like that, but that's another playthrough. Uh, after all the seniors have had their turn and taken their seats again, many of the other class presidents bring new wood to place on top of the old. Let's let the new year burn! <laughs> oh, be born! <laughs> Was that an actual slip? Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I thought that said burn and I missed the B. <laughs> yeah, you just skipped that little word. You're like, it does say burn. Excellent. Oh, wait, never mind. Ooh, sparks. The pile of wood glows with tiny sparks. 4, 8, 12, until at last curls of orange flame begin to blossom and the fire is rekindled. We need an omen for the new year and a sacrifice <laughs> if anyone here has been experiencing a recurring dream i would like to share it with us <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking like helen tell him about the dream with the metal dogs and you being naked, I'm having naked. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah i glance at ellen but she shakes her head <laughs> either her dreams don't repeat or she doesn't want to talk about them oh victoria the anti-venom but first there's silence, except for the muffled squeak from where the snake girls are sitting. It looks like Barbara was not keen on having Suki share her dreams. Aw, Suki seems funny though. Eventually Angela stands up and tells us a dream about a pink birthday cake sitting in a field of cows. She takes the cake and runs away from the cows, but when she cuts into the cake it's made of sand and it collapses. Meditate on this dream and what meaning it might have for your lives in the new year. It's like, make something up or we'll be here all night. <laughs> I think that might have been what it is. <laughs> it means I shouldn't eat cake with Angela? <laughs> no, it means don't steal from cows, otherwise you're just going to get sand in your mouth. I think Angela was the one that was like, lower, lower, and like, she was crouching down as Ellen was crouching down. I can't remember, probably. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's who Angela was. And may the seeds of the past bear fruit in you all. After she finishes speaking, everyone stands up and dances in the light of the new fire until it's time to go to our rooms and sleep. This, so this sounds so... What's the word? I don't want to say heretical or black magic, but it, seems, it sounds very... Um... Pagan. Yes, that's the word. Thank you. Yeah, it's just Cause, witchy. Because it's not evil. It's just... It's just witchy. Yeah. It's it's the whole nature spirit thing. And yeah, yeah. Dance around the stuff. flaming fire of doom. Yeah. Like, it's not evil. You're the one wishing. making it bad because you're like, sacrifice. <laughs> Dead bodies. I Lost have a recurring souls. dream. I don't think it's appropriate for school. <laughs> I have this recurring dream where I become the indisputed evil wizard warlock become, of the world. Like I and I burn down prince. Iris Academy. <laughs> Like, I... <laughs> the, oh, or, grab, I don't know. Or, like, I stand up, and it's like, I've been having this reoccurring dream where me and Ellen become master criminals, we burn down Iris Academy, and it somehow culminates in a... in us driving off of a cliff in a car together. <laughs> then Grabner stands up. I have a recurring dream <laughs> where I cut off all the fingers of the children 
in the academy, and then I share these fingers with you, <laughs> fellow teacher. And, and then we like... turn these bones left over from the fingers uh, <laughs> into bone meal, and we bake a cake out of it. I was thinking in pasta and like blushes, and she's like, how did you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs>